with you about this. have time to jump, jump <laughs> in that escape car if you want to. Thank you, Skyler and Liv. <laughs> but right now, I'm probably sweating bullets and sweating through my suit. A little shaky right now. Not gonna lie. But I have dreamed about this day my whole life. I never knew if I would find love or how it would happen or when until I met you. Not only when you came back into my life, you brought another blessing into my life. My buddy, my best friend, and my boy, Axton. Baby, I've loved you since the day I laid my eyes on you. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I want to marry you so bad. <laughs> now let's get married, Miss Rogers. Always and forever, your soon-to-be husband. Dear Lord, I just want to thank you for this day. I want to thank you for all our family and friends. But most importantly, I want to thank you for bringing Michaela into my life and bringing us together. I'm so thankful, Lord. I promise to love this woman for the rest of my life, Lord. I, I'll give her my all. I'll give her everything. Lord, we just thank you for this day and bringing us together. In Jesus' name, amen. Bennett Jess Rogers, my adventure buddy, hunting partner, lover, and best friend. I'm going to do my best to try to explain my love for you, but you and I know our love is unexplainable and unconditional. Our story started last summer. It's almost been a full year since our first date, which was the day you completely stole my heart. Before I met you, I prayed fiercely day and night that God would heal me, let me focus on baby, raising my baby boy, and when the timing was right, to bring me my person, my soulmate, and someone that I could grow old with. After our, our first date, I remember coming home, trying to convince myself to put a guard up, because I knew that my feelings weren't the only ones that mattered in my life anymore. <sighs> As a single mama, I was so scared to introduce and let somebody into Axton's life that may leave him heartbroken or confused. Looking back on it now, I'm so thankful that I didn't listen to my mind, what my mind was thinking, but instead listened to my heart. Because Bennett Jess, you did exactly the opposite. Your connection with Axton is and was so effortless. You're his best friend an incredible father figure, and the best mentor I could ever ask for. Him and I are truly so lucky to be loved and cared for by a man like you. I couldn't be more thankful that you chose to do this life with Axton and I, and I know he feels the same. You make me feel so safe, protected, confident, and loved, and there's never a time that you let me go to bed upset, and there's never a time that you leave a conversation without saying, always and forever. You always put God first and lead us in the direction of His will, His plan, and keeping our faith with Him strong. Even in some difficult times when I couldn't understand God's why, you've always grounded me, <laughs> prayed over me, prayed with me, and helped me hold on to my faith. Benedict. 
I vow to never stop loving you, rooting for you, and to always be your best friend first. I vow to be faithful to you, care for you always, and try not to complain so much during our hunting trips. I vow to always put God first and to never lose my faith in us. I vow to stand beside you as you lead our family, support you, learn with you, and to never stop dating you. I know I say I don't think I could possibly love you any more than I do today, but God knows I'll wake up tomorrow and love you even more than I do right now. You're my person, my best friend, and my friend. Michaela Ryan, you always talk about how I saved you, but I think everyone here and I can disagree about that. Before you came into my life, I thought I was happy, but that is far from the truth. I was very lost and unhappy and ultimately not being the man I was raised to be. And then you came into my life, just happened to run into each other at a gender reveal. This beautiful blonde wearing a black dress or a romper or whatever you call those things. <laughs> talking about going on some rafting trip and inviting me. And then the rafting trip came, and that day ultimately changed my life forever. Right after that day, I went home and laid in bed and just prayed and asked God to give me another day with you, just another chance. And before that day, I couldn't remember the last time I prayed or talked to God about anything. But he ultimately answered my prayers and gave me another chance. And then I prayed for our first kiss, our first dance, our first everything. <laughs> and he answered. And I prayed to fall madly in love with each other. And he answered. I am so in love. I am so in love with you. And thank God every day for you. Michaela, you showed me what real happiness is and taught me how to fall in love. And I can't thank you enough for that. You are the most beautiful and amazing woman I have ever met. You are an amazing mother, and I am so lucky and still shocked that you chose me. You are my hunting partner and my adventure buddy, my co-pilot. You are my person. But most importantly, you are my best friend. We have been through so much together, and we'll go through so much more. But I vow to never leave your side, no matter what. I vow to be your biggest fan, and supporter. I vow to always be truthful and honest with you. I vow to show up every single day as a man that Axton can count on and look up to. I vow to love and protect Axton for the rest of my life. You are my world, always and forever. And yes, you are the funniest person I know. <laughs> well, it's an honor say that Bennett and Michaela, you can kiss. Bennett, you can kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Bennett and Michaela Rogers. It's our